To an update now in Santa Barbara, we're learning more about the case of a local resident charged with murdering his two children in Mexico. KSBY News reporter Gina Avalos has more from Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara police say the mother of the two children who were found dead in Mexico filed a missing persons report over the weekend. Soon after, law enforcement was able to track down her husband's cell phone in Rosarito, Mexico. Now we want to warn you, the details may be disturbing for those of you watching. It's unthinkable. I, I don't... A wave of shock from residents in Santa Barbara hearing about the gruesome discoveries in Mexico. According to a criminal affidavit, 40-year-old Santa Barbara resident and surf instructor Matthew Taylor Coleman confessed to murdering his two children. He admitted to taking the 10-month-old and 2-year-old from his Santa Barbara home without his wife's knowledge and driving down to Rosarito, Baja California, Mexico on August 7th. A day later, the children's mother filed a missing persons report with the Santa Barbara Police Department. But court documents say she initially told investigators she didn't believe her kids were in any danger. Investigators say the surveillance photos show Coleman arriving to a hotel with his two children. At around 3 a.m. on Monday, you can see Coleman walk out of his hotel room with the kids. Later at around 6 a.m., he returns to the hotel, only this time he was alone. According to investigators, the children were later found dead by a farm worker. They were reportedly killed with a spear fishing gun. Oh, really, there are no words for someone to take their own children's lives. Um, I think it's terrible. According to court documents, Coleman told investigators that he believed his children were going to grow into monsters, so he had to kill them. We are talking about someone who was educated and had degrees. It was clear to him of the consequences he could face for the actions he was taking. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, Coleman was set to appear at the U.S. District Court in Los Angeles downtown earlier today. Now, we did try to reach out to some of their close friends, but didn't receive a response. In Santa Barbara, Gina Avalos, KSBY News. Investigators confirmed Coleman was detained by Border Patrol as he attempted to re-enter the United States at the San Ysidro border. Officials were able to locate him by using the Find My iPhone application.